What's up everybody, this is Matt Hatfield from Nice Kicks, here to show you a screencast of how to uh, make the most out of the new Nike LeBron 10 on Nike ID. So I just first fired up NikeID.com and sure enough, lo and behold, what is there featured on the, on the homepage other than LeBron 10. So let's get things started. So click on customize it and pull up the LeBron 10. Uh, first step always, select your size. Um, the LeBron tens fit about a half size smaller from regular um, from most shoes. So I and it's up but at the same size as the LeBron nine. So if you had a LeBron nine, go with your size in that. So normally I wear eleven, but these I will go in eleven and a half. Um, I have a pair already, and I definitely can confirm eleven and a half. You know, is be is the best size for me. So half size off. Um, so you can go from the ground up on this in terms of customizing the shoe uh, but frankly i find it easier to just you know go through the shoe um, and just kind of let the inspiration take you where you want to go and nike id makes it easy by being able to click on the different parts of the shoe and then customize them so for me um, i'm going to probably go with a game royal uh, here and start to play off of the whole foam posit um, idea and so you see I just selected the upper there. I could go here step by step by step like this. But sometimes, you know, you just start seeing things. You just let them take you the way they want to take you and just, uh, you know, click and change colors. Uh, so here, tongue, going to change that color to a black. Um, what was the next one? Flywire. So a lot of people overlook this option here because you can't really see it on the upper, um, even on a side shot. But it's actually right underneath the... Um, the, the panels of the hyperfuse here and that's the, the dynamic flywire is a pretty important part to the shoe because that's what is going to hold you know give you so much support and stability um, but for aesthetics it just comes through and just holds the laces right here that's probably the only visible part but um, definitely adds a lot to the shoe um, lace is going to go with black on that um, now this is where the midsole is where things get really fun um, not only can you have either a solid color or a speckled color, but then you can choose, you know, your base color as well as the pop color um, in the in the um, speckled sole. Um, so I'm probably going to go, you know, with a black sole, speckle it with a little bit of, you know, maybe the blue. Let me try. I'm uh, feeling the white. And then the next step is. You know, and I amazingly is the last step for me because I've already gone through and selected these things pretty quickly. Um, is the outsole, and you can have either a solid color one, so you have several different color options here for solid rubber, translucent, of course, everybody's favorite, um, including clear. Um, and they do have an XDR outdoor um, ball uh, outdoor sole, so if you do play ball outdoors, um, definitely a good one to think about. Um, but you know, here I am, I'm going for aesthetics and going for the foam posit look. I'm definitely going with a clear outsole. And the last part, even though it's the first step, I like to save it for the, for the last step is you can choose the color of the bag on the inside. So, um, they have black, let me just see photo blue, uh, not quite the same. And that's where you can go and say, okay, well, what about if I change this to a photo blue, does that work? Um, so you can play around with it. Um, and I'm probably just going to stick with a black uh, thing in there. And uh, so this is the f one of the first times I remember you can actually, you know, change the color on the zoom. Um, I know that in the past you can color, you know, change the select the color of the max bag. But uh, to actually color the zoom, um, obviously, pretty unique feature about the LeBron 10 is the visible zoom. Um, not very few shoes have ever had that in the past. Um, you know, it's not the first, but it definitely is the first to have a full length um visible zoom bag so you know next step uh, from here is you know just to oh yes and the most important part of all you can actually um, have a couple uh, personalizations to it I mean if you almost forget about Nike ID all the color options and things that you can actually identify them with the personal ID so let's go with nice kicks I wonder why I choose that um, you know, and, and then you can choose also the color that you want up here. So I could go with white. Yeah, I could go any color, but probably going to stick with black there. Um, and that's color ID. And they have a couple other set phrases um, that are some ones that were uh, preloaded um, that are in different fonts as well. And then on the heel ID, you can either go with a LeBron graphic or again, you can put in your own personal uh, number and choose the color. So. I'm probably actually just going to leave it blank, 
just because for no other reason. And all you got to do now is add to cart. And in less than four weeks, you'll be seeing them at your doorstep. And I don't know what to tell you about that, but that's pretty incredible to me <laughs> that in only four weeks, you can, they can custom make the shoe and have it delivered to you. So that's that. You go in, check out, and shoes will be on your way.